In this question, we are told that f and g have a common tangent at x equals 3, and we have to show that h is equal to e plus 6 over 2. This is a show that question where we are given the final result so that h is equal to e plus 6 over 2, and we have to show the steps that lead to this result. A key concept here is that since the graphs have a common tangent at x equals 3, the derivatives are equal when x is 3. We already have the derivative of fx from the previous question part, so in our first step here we'll find the derivative of gx. Based on this rule from section 5.6 of the formula booklet, we get that the derivative of e to the power of x minus 2 is simply e to the power of x minus 2. Then we'll actually apply the chain rule because we have a composite function where x minus 2 is the inside function. The derivative of x minus 2 is 1, so based on the chain rule here, we'll multiply by 1. Of course, this multiplication doesn't make a difference to the derivative of gx. Finally, since k is a constant, its derivative is 0, so here I will add 0. Therefore, the derivative of gx is simply e to the power of x minus 2. Once again, you don't have to show all the working out that I've done here, but it is important to write down that the derivative of gx is e to the power of x minus 2. As we mentioned earlier, the derivatives are equal when x is 3. So we can write that the derivative of f at 3 is equal to the derivative of g at 3. Substituting, we get that negative 2 times 3 minus h is equal to e to the power of 3 minus 2. Working further gives us that negative 6 plus 2h is equal to e to the power of 1, or simply e. From here, we just have to rearrange to get that h is equal to e plus 6 over 2. This is what we wanted to show. Let's see some tips to help you maximize your marks. The first important point here is that this question is a show that question. On show that questions, you are given the final result, and you are asked to show the steps that lead to this result. If you want to earn full marks on such questions, it is very important that you don't use the given answer in your work. If the show that comment term is a bit confusing, you can often rephrase the question, so here the rephrased question could simply be find age, instead of show that age is equal to e plus 6 over 2. You might ask then, why doesn't a question just simply say, find age? This is so because you'll need the result from this question part to solve one or more of the following question parts. So in a way, IB is being nice to you by giving you the answer here so that you can use this answer on the next question part. The show that answer provided in this question is this one, and as I said, the show that command is a hint that you will need to use the result on the following question part or question parts.